So little Boosie gets granted bail today. Ladies and gentlemen, Boosie Boo, the rapper, the Louisiana legend, the underground to uptown team and king team leader that is. And rest in peace to educational purpose, Mr. Pimp C. He's also Trail Entertainment's face once upon a time ago but boosie was granted bell we're gonna talk about that we're gonna show some receipts and get in tune with that what i need y'all to do right now for us is hit that like button hit that notification bell and thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip hop live movement so Boosie Boo got a lot of situations going on with this situation. We know WAC 100 called out the cameraman on this video that you're watching here. WAC 100 accused the cameraman of being an educational purpose CI. You feel me? An informant basically working against the likes of Boosie and to bring him down. Um, I don't want to argue against that. Some of those points make sense. If you look at the time he was in San Diego, the feds knew to pay attention to this particular live stream because this was deleted so how did they find it and obtain it but other people screenshot and recorded it as well you can look at it on that note but you know the gentleman was trying to defend himself and and the claims of the body bag situation and we wanted to tell y'all they were trying to get boosie on a rico but it, but it won't work if you think about that part won't work unless boosie doing other things we don't know about but if they're just going off this weapon situation he has said over and over that he don't mess with gang stuff you can't even be around him or uh, him if you're in a gang they want boosie though so you already know um they're gonna look at other things he said in the past and said so things that is now well, when we're getting in tune with boosie he put it out there on a post and shout out the dj academics for that post the post went specifically into exactly what a lot of people were saying was going to happen if they didn't have substantial peace now the label mates and, and associates of little boosie of his real badass syndicate record label that is they posted our ceo got bond and you can tell the juvenile they're excited because he is the bag and i think ie protects the bag means a lot more than just protecting the bag hey basically mean protect your salary protect your foundation even though family and loyalty everything is needed but these are things that can crumble an empire when the face gets you know shackled up in this uh unfortunate you know predicament he's in now san diego louisiana rapper boosie badass who was arrested in san diego last month for allegedly basically being a felon in a possession of a weapon now we know that didn't go too smooth for certain other people involved but this case started being looked at as as who snitched on boosie i don't know i don't like putting jackets on people randomly things that we can't prove it gets a little bit uneasy when we do it like that just to say they're rats but he was granted bail this tuesday the 40 year old rapper whose real name is torrance ivy hatch jr was initially charged by state prosecutors following his may 6 arrest during a tra traffic stop in shallow's views neighborhood now we know boosie went to trial with that situation and he basically won because they dismissed it but upon before even making it to the parking lot federal agents came through and they put the shackles on boosie boo i mean i ain't even try to sound like a bar just now but those are bars my g but let's continue now we know he went to film this music video that we, we were looking at, the one with the red pants. And during this video was when they pinpointed the weapon that was behind his pants. Now, according to one of his attorneys, Megan Blanco, Hatch was prepared to plead guilty in the state's case and was expected to be sentenced to probation. However, the state case was dismissed following a court appearance last week. Hatch was arrested on newly filed federal charges. He has remained in custody since then. As as a federal prosecutor stated they need additional time to prepare for a hearing regarding hatch detention status now you guys already know where this is going with 
they're basically saying look we got enough things on him we just gotta go through proper protocol and procedures to run forward with this so even though boosie was granted bond i think people still need to be screaming free boosie because it ain't over yet at all like that's sometimes a situation where they didn't have their priorities intact to where they could deny him a bond based on the evidence that the judge looked at like we're gonna give this man a bond but it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean anything yet now on tuesday u.s magistrate judge allison Goddard or Goodard granted Hatch Bell and if released he will have to follow several conditions including no travel outside of the United States Hatch is expected to appear in federal court next week for another hearing in a case I mean th this keeps going you know a little bit worse for Boosie but in a nutshell I think you can look at this as a win right here if I'm anybody but Boosie you're gonna look at it as something bad but if you're Boosie Boo getting a bond is the first step now assistant U.S. Attorney Sander Call Callahan argued in court that Hatch presented a danger to the community and was a flight risk while Blanco argued her client was compliant with all state court conditions and made all court appearances while out of custody callahan also said that on may 6 hatch was seen in an instagram live video with a gun on his waist uh, waistband basically reverting and going back to this video here now when they were speaking about that they said one of those guns matched the one seen in the instagram video he alleged now what they're talking about is the fbi zooms in on any situation social media just know they zoom all the way in if you have money you're flashing they already looked at all the serial numbers and codes and dashes or whatever encryptions on these things just to get full spec of did you steal it did you rob it i mean they, 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 welcome to new technology if you in 2023 you're getting on social media doing certain things you might as well have a big sign and say come and get me now the prosecutor said officers found two guns in the suv one in a security guard's bag and one on the seat behind between hatch and the guard now bloggers were exaggerating and saying boosie was referencing to um he's gonna put the security guard in a body bag that's not the case at all one thing about me being a journalist we get the facts straight they were referring to alleged it said so weapons you know i.e guns they were talking about that in the bags not body bags like that but let's fast forward now he also claimed an officer overheard hatch threatening the security guard for not taking the blame for the guns callahan alleged hatch told the guards you're gonna be in a body bag but that was not the case at all so they're, they're, if they're running with that they better have more substantial evidence than just that alone now the prosecutor described the incident as a well thought out plan to arm himself and hide the truth from law enforcement now they played an audio recording in court of little boosie reportedly telling officers that the gun belonged to a security guard and had only i mean had he only had the gun in his waistband for the music video he was shooting so they tried to use the you know whole recording filming thing as the reason why he had had that weapon because you know the listen feds look at everything so they couldn't go with the fake gun claim if anybody's saying why didn't they just said that now his detention hearing cost them hundred and sixty thousand dollars that's what they're saying damn they're already charging already in the feds boosie gonna have to perform a lot of concerts and and and, and, and have motion come his way because them folks is not playing as you can see right here they're trying to get him out the way now they're saying he would have made through performances and other work obligations over the weekend so just this past weekend alone he lost hundred and sixty thousand dollars and he said it's outrageous that the government decided to swoop that's his attorney speaking they said it's outrageous that the government decided to swoop on that day that he was going to enter a plea for probation pull him in federally detain him and then announce an ability to move forward with their detention hearing knowing what he had scheduled the following weekend she said so yeah man they're trying to get boosie boo out the way they could give a damn about his situations man whether you think it's outrageous or not when you're on camera with certain things by the loss of these lands i guess they have the right to exhibit what they're going to display in court and i guess boosie would have to have a strong situation with his counselors to prove his side look man all best wishes to little boosie keep your head up you're a great father unfortunately you had to spend father's day locked up 
But, you know, we know what comes with the reality of life and the things we choose to do and how we choose to live. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that notification bell, come back for more videos and update. Peace. Thursday. I smoke G Mike with the magic. He my dog. He died in traffic with that brand new Glock 380. Went to see the voodoo lady. I'm on high shit right now. That wood done turned me crazy. With a brand new black Mercedes. It's a stay live. Be my baby. I see so many Z's. It look like double Z's. OMG. Red and blue flag hanging on my back. That extra, extra swag. swag. 90210. You know I'm from the roads. Rock and roll. I'm motherfucking out of there. With the sack. Three for sale. Yeah, I'm on that Adderall, Adderall, can't you tell? Yeah, I might be on that perk. Set on feelings on my shirt. Set on